Okay, so going guys, face back here again, and this is a follow-up to probably the video you'll see after this. Probably. Um, but that video was on the Jat Kusar. I thought I'd found like a, a really good build for it. I had. That was a really good build. It's a very, very good build. Uh, we're going to try another one now. I've just done a little bit on the side. Well, just before this, actually, just to see if it was, you know, noticeable. And I think I've found the perfect build for this. Um, all by changing one mod. So I'm playing Vault. As we'll see, this is what it was before, without any, you know, speed frames or anything like that. You know, it's pretty decent. It's not amazing, but it's not awful. As you can see, it's holding its own. I'm not using any buffs, so you can see how good it is on its own. Yeah, you know, it's... These are 150s, so, you know, these guys aren't a, a joke. And it does also. I don't know what that does. So it's got like a like a projectile thing by the looks of it. Fucking hate this. You have to try and aim whilst they're floating and moving. It's super annoying sometimes. But as you can see, it's it's good. Really good. Um, I'm not gonna worry about, you know, speeding up and everything. You've seen it all. I'd use in a I was using a Valkyr for that because of her melee buff, but I'm uh, I'm using Volt because my Volt is built for pure speed. This build, um, and I think he's a bit quicker. So, if I replace Jagged Edge with a mod called Spoiled Strike for 100% more damage and for the cap, what's the thing? Plus 100% damage with a negative of you know plus 20% melee speed. Now we already have Berserker there, giving us 75% melee speed anyway. So. I really don't think it's that necessary. It just means that the Berserker mod will only be giving us 50, 55, yeah, 55% melee speed. I'm gonna try again. So as you see, the melee speed, it's it's actually a lot more noticeable than you think. But for 100% more damage, I think that's very noticeable. You can see we've already shredded some. No, it can hit more than one enemy. So even if like you're in a corridor and you get swarmed or whatnot. Yeah. I think this is a much better build for it. I think this is the perfect in my opinion. I'm only saying that because I found it. I've still not, you know, watched any guides or anything. I I'm happy with this, so let's use our speed and let's see what we can do now. Nothing surviving that. Nothing is surviving that at all. Definitely not. Goodbye. But as you can see, the melee speed, it really isn't noticeable. Like I said, this vault build is it hits pure speed. So, this is what I use to speed run my uh, capture missions. Because it's pure speed, and I believe he's better than Gal still. Don't hate me. But yeah. It's not even. You know, the hardest part about using this properly is it doesn't always want to hit you. You know, you've seen me then, I struggle to hit him sometimes, which is a bit of an issue, but really it knows. I'll do one more and then I'll, sh well, you've seen the build anyway, but I'll talk through the build again. It's really the exact same build as the last video I did. But yeah, this weapon has it all. It's got really high damage, it's got crowd control. I said, if you're in a corridor, I think all your basic adds to this gun is just going to absolutely melt through anyway. It's not even... I'm just going to fall off the edge. I'm just going to fall off the edge. This is good. So you hit him three times when you're using it once. I don't like that once. Yeah, I've seen this weapon slash, but it doesn't seem to apply any procs with slash. I've never noticed it before. Oh well, anyways, I'll show you the build again. Again, this is one former, but bear in mind my pressure point and fury aren't maxed. So, it will need two formers if you have all these max mods. My blood rush ain't maxed either, because this is the first time I've properly used blood rush, so... Uh, I still have things to work on. 
So this is a build that will require two former. Which, you know, it's not expensive. You know, some builds require four, five, some even six. So I think two former is more than uh, agreeable for what you're getting out of it um, easily. And I haven't even used Mirage yet. Do you want me to use Mirage? I think she's want me to... I know I... I'll use Mirage quick. And I didn't realise that she actually buffs this melee. I thought it was just weapons. I don't know why. But, um... Where is she? It's not even going to be fair. I'm going to do it anyway. I've not actually tested this new build with her, so this should be interesting. Yeah, I learned the other day that Mirage does actually, in fact, buff your, uh, your damage. So, yeah, let's uh, just absolutely melt everything in existence. Yeah, good night all. Yeah. Yeah, not an issue. Not an issue. Easy peasy. I'm going to sneeze. Or maybe not. <laughs> nope. It's going to... You know, I'm just sat there making that stupid face. Right. My aura mod I'm using is Defiled Snapdragon. This is for a blade and a whip. I think that's, you know, that's the only one I have. And I've got four of them, so I can't think that they're that rare. But I can't tell you where I get them from, because I, I can't remember. Uh, prime pressure point and condition overload for that damage. And obviously condition overload is 120% more melee damage per status. So, you know, you can take that into consideration. Obviously I'm using a corrosive build on this, so all the time I'm corrosion... Every time I'm proccing corrosive, I'm getting even more melee damage. And then Spoiled Strike for 100% more damage at the cost of 20% attack speed, which again is counteracted by the other ones I have on here. So that minus at speed isn't... It's, I think it's noticeable on its own, but when you're using, you know, Berserker and, you know, speed frames like Valkyrie or Volt, it's not an issue. Uh, Prime Fury for that attack speed, again, not maxed. Um, that could be maxed and you'll have even more. Berserker for even more attack speed per crit, so you, you know, you hit once, you crit. But this, this weapon's crit is only 35%, but I'm always critting with this, so... Yeah. Not an issue. Blood Rush for crit trance, and that stacks with combo. I think combos is if you use it more, so if you're just using melee, your combo goes up. So you're getting 38.2% crit chance for whatever, and that, mine's only 38. I, I don't know what this goes up to, I'm going to assume it's 50 or 60. 55? I don't know. I've never maxed out Blood Rush, so I can't comment. And then Fever Strike and Shock in Touch for Electric. Um, I suppose you could swap these out for uh, Viral, but I don't think it's going to be as good, in my opinion. Uh, that's I've not tried that. That's something I could try. But I'll do that later. I'm not going to do it now. This is a build that will absolutely melt through your Grenier and your Corrupted, I think. The rest is... Uh, I've not seen yet, so this weapon is innate heat, so you have that as well. It's just I love this weapon. I love this weapon. It was just by accident I come across it. I'm so happy with it. 1.4 attack speed with Berserker and Fury and all that stuff. The attack speed is stupid good. Uh, this blocking combo stuff doesn't mean anything to me. Combo duration, I think that's five seconds. I think. Um, there are mods like body count that can make that go up and there's more you know, there's loads of combo things 35% crit chance 2.5 times crit multiplier follow through I don't know what that means range is 2.40 I'm gonna assume that's meters don't know ribbon disposition of 2 out of 5 I'm gonna go and look for a ribbon for this um, but I don't know what I'd get out because for 2 I don't know maybe I could get one with toxin on and damage or melee speed or something like that not sure yet. Um, I'll see what offers and what you know what I get. Uh, Six point four thousand and nine slam attack, two hundred eighteen slam radial damage, slam radius of seven. I'm going to guess it. That's meters. That could be anything. Slide attack of two thousand one hundred and a status of ninety percent. Two hundred seventy six impact, forty five puncture, one hundred fifty seven slash, and then heat and corrosive. Obviously with fever strike and shocking touch, and then heat is uh, built in, and then eight thousand five hundred slam and damage attack with 800 radial. I think that's when you, you dive in the air and hit the floor. But yeah, I think this is probably one of the best builds without a Riven. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is the best weapon, yeah, without a Riven. 
Um, not in the game. I think without without looking at our builds, actually, I can't comment. That might be better. I think maybe my gram does a little bit more. But I think this hits much harder, uh, much faster than the gram. So maybe in turn, this might be better. You know, for damage, because although the gram would hit harder, it's slower. So I don't know. That's something I can test, but. Yeah, that's been uh, my Jack Kushar build. I believe this is the best melee, and it's not even finished yet because my mods aren't maxed. So, yeah, go out, get it. Uh, this costs seven... F uh, not Fieldrons, the other ones. Detonites. Detonites something or others. The faction-related uh, thing from the dojo, and uh, I think that's it. I don't know if it uses a former... It's not stupid expensive, you know, these things, detonite ampules you can get from everywhere, you know. Go and do a survival, you get enough for them. Uh, I've never had an issue with them on anything, uh, even on my alt account. So, I don't know what mastery this is. It doesn't tell you on here, does it? I don't think it does. Preview. No, it doesn't. So I couldn't tell you what, uh, what mastery this is, but yeah, I'm going to use Mirage again. And I'm going to melt all these once more because it's quite a fun weapon to use. It's the blade and whip, it's pretty interesting. But yeah, it's, look at all the numbers you're seeing. It's insane. Proto mine, that's with 358% damage. My Mirage isn't even completely maxed and she's still insane. So go out and get it built, guys. Uh, let me know if you know anything can be swapped. Let me know if you've got any decent ribbons for this. I'd love to know. Um, Rivens will be super cool. But yeah, if you did enjoy, hit that like button. I uh, appreciate that. Hit the dislike button if you didn't. Obviously, I'd rather you didn't. Uh, comment down below. Let me know all that good stuff. Please subscribe. We're trying to reach a thousand by the end of 2020. And I'll see you in the next one.